We are back. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome all to my first stream of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, my first time playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I've got this testing image up because I'm going to actually have to test and make sure that I can display the... Oh my gosh, I'm actually starting it, guys. Like, I'm starting the program in Steam and... You hear that wonderful music? Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day go. Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. <laughs> he Again, a the dick. voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room <laughs> and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement oh. hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. <laughs> Ah, okay, I know that's a little bit cliche, but yay! Opening cutscene looks just as good as ever. Very interesting. Menu music is different. All the music sounds different. Now, okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I am actually really wondering how this music's going to turn out, because what Danny Baranowski did with the first game was great. And so, in this version... I don't know what to expect. I've heard I've heard some of the music. It sounds really different. It sounds cool, but it's different. And you know how that is with people. So, I mean, we'll see what it's like. And I I'm looking forward to every second of this. In fact, I am going to go get up and close my door and shut the lights off for atmosphere. So I will be back in one quick second. Okay. Let's uh, shoot tears at some stuff. Oh my gosh, a file select. Now I can get my two imaginary friends to play on my computer. Wonderful. Notice new run and continue. I've heard that you can actually stop in the middle of a room at this point. So, um... Or stop in the middle of a run through and like continue it later, which is great because uh, when uh, you know there there are some situations I, I I find myself in where I'm like in the middle of a run, but like it's a really good run and I don't want to quit, but I have to. <coughs> Algorithms class. So um so in any case, let's um well let's take a look at the options first to uh, prolong this as long as possible. Control keyboard. 
But the factually configurable now? Map. Ooh, is there a separate map? That, uh, that actually sounds like fun. I see the page turning sound effect is insane. That's great. Uh, those sound, uh, sound levels look good. Let me know if you want them to be different. All screens on. What filter? Okay, that looks like it's filtering the graphics. Wasn't sure if it was going to be that, or some sort of, like, parental control filter thing. Like, um... Apparently the music's a bit loud, so I turned that down. Mm. So yeah, so, I mean, to be honest, the parental controls in this game, if, if that were a setting, it would just quit the game. So, um, if you are a small child, like, I know it's a cartoon, but there's going to be, like, blood and guts anywhere if this is anything like the original version. So, uh, so yeah, uh, go home to your parents and let them know that, uh, you almost got in trouble on the internet today, kids. Uh, Gamma? Fancy sauce. Um, I don't know what pop-ups do, but, uh, I guess we'll leave them on. I mean, I don't know, are we gonna get, like, porn ads or something? So, uh, no deaths, no items, no mom kills, no secrets, best street hero. Here's the stuff I found. Nothing. Oh my gosh, guys. There are 16 endings. In the original game, there were 13. I don't know what this means. Maybe you have to, uh, uh, spoiler alert for the original. Maybe you have to kill Mom's Heart 15 times instead of 10 to unlock Sheol and Cathedral. I don't know. Maybe the Void is actually a thing. They were theorizing about that. I haven't seen anything about, like, actually, like... <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> I love your Stanley Parable comment. Yeah, no. Isaac and his mother lived alone. <laughs> Isaac went through into the depths below. When Isaac came to a set of two doors... Okay, that was too easy a joke to make. So, um... Let's face it, I'm delaying this way too much. Let's freaking get started! Yeah! Woo! Ooh! Characters. Magdalene? I like by having seven or more heart containers. That'd be fun. I have to get really rich. Judas? It doesn't tell me what I'm like Judas. I'm guessing it's one of the mom endings. Eve. Unlocked by not picking up hearts for two levels. Is that how you unlock even the original? I feel like that's different. Samson. Oh no, this is totally different. Samson in the original is skip treasure rooms. In this, it's don't take damage. Oh, that's how you unlock Eve. You unlock Eve by making devil deals. Now it's... Excuse me while I uh, Google this name. It's probably one of those random biblical characters from like the... Uh, like genealogy seconds where like so and so the power father of so and so the 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 father father of ooh okay to give you the background this is Azazel and Azazel is apparently the name of some sort of fallen angel slash demon that should be interesting Lazarus is Lazarus the new version of Blue Baby? That could be. Then I have heard is a character that's random. Uh, so, and you can spend like Eden tokens to do something. I forget exactly how that works. Or just random character. Well, random is going to do Isaac anyway, since we don't have anybody else unlocked. So, I just do Isaac. And you can use custom seed. Oh, that's cool. So, like, if, if you want to do, like, a seeded world and, like... Oh, that is actually great, because that means you could do competitions for this. Pick a random seed, have two people start at the same time, see who finishes first or who gets farthest. Or something. Oh, so much potential. Okay, let's get started.
All right, basement one. Spot looks the same. Here are my tears. Conveniently, I'm right next to the treasure room. Okay. All right, nothing in the fires. No coins for me. Slender thighs. Oh my gosh, I have that upgrade. I have that upgrade. That's a really convenient upgrade to get. Are those, like, mulligans, or... It seems like they're leaving behind a slight creep trail behind them. Hmm, interesting. Frollbone don't immediately start to uh, start flashing. That could throw me off, actually. Now wait a minute here. Here's a locked room. Here's a locked room. Are we talking uh, stop and library here? Or... Because I literally have no idea what those rooms are. Ah, uh, so that's a mulligan. That's totally a mulligan. Oh, I like the new sound effect. Oh, jeez. He just... Charged me. Oh, that changes things. I have a couple bombs now. I could go looking for secret rooms. So these are the flyers that shoot you. What do those blocks in the corners do? Are those like rocks except you can't stop on them? So, in short, I have three locked rooms to try. And I have no keys. Glad to know the secret room generation algorithm is still the same. What's in here? Some sort of stone chest that I can't open. And there are those keys I want. Well, let's bomb our way out of here. So that we don't have to use a key on this room. Which is... The Book of Belial! Now we have a spacebar item. So it's just a locked item room, huh? That's interesting. And here's our shop. I had to come here in here just to see. Oh! So this donation box, like in uh, Community Remix, that's actually a thing in the main game now. Nice. Oh, that was close. It's like to buy anything, so uh, I guess now we just go fight the boss. And who will it be? Monstro, perhaps? Larry. J oh, I can open this. Larry Junior. Someone completely new. I don't know. Oh, might as well buy something from the stuff now. In fact, is that the? What is that? It's not a discount. Let's get it. Bogo bombs. Oh, is that like now every time I get a bomb, I get two of them? Ooh! Something like a bomb discount card or something. Nice, I like it. Alright. Gemini! Okay. Oh, wow, ow, ow, ow. Dang it. He spawned like right next to me, I didn't know. Gemini's AI has been changed slightly. It's not terribly significant, but, like, like I can't tell exactly what is... I think maybe his, uh, his retard time is slower, but, like, I notice because, like, I'm having to change my strategy here. Music sounds very orchestral. Interesting, the music became more realistic, and the graphics became less realistic. Because now I feel like I'm playing on the SNES. But, uh, but yeah. I should keep something open to the time, I can't actually see the time on my other screen. P upgrade, assuming that's what I think it is, not bad at all. Nice. Oh, I should use Book of Belial. That would have made that easier. <laughs> but okay, 
on to